Hey loves, Miss Jolly Sims here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I bring to you something crazy <laughs> and random. Um, today we are actually going to be playing with my current household sim. Her name is Demi and you guys have seen a lot, a ton of community posts about her and honestly I'm just now getting her life together so we are going to dive into it and as you guys will see y'all will notice that my um, preset, okay lag, my preset is a little bit different and that is because I literally just made made a preset for this specific save so anytime that I am playing with Demi you guys will see her with this preset so I wanted her to have a special preset because this is a sim that I am playing with on and off camera and I feel like it would just be okay to you know just like have something different uh, but so I hope you guys like it I hope it's not too I don't know dim or whatever the case is but I really just wanted to play with Demi today uh, I didn't want to film anything that I had to plan like I felt like it just I mean I just feel like you know we could we could just do anything so what we're gonna do is just like get to know Demi a little bit she is actually hungry and I was having her cook before I actually start this but I'll get her to come in here and um and clean it up because apparently we have we just came home from like being out and about so there is this Christmas festival that has actually came to town and Demi was super excited to like go check it out and go see about it with her friend which her friend actually had to fly back home I actually told you to pick this up oh actually you could resume it but I'll just look go ahead and let her pick it up while I'm talking but um she did go out with her friend and um her friend was like you know hey girl the Christmas thing is in town and she was like oh my god yeah so we do stay here in Tartosa and her friend lives back in Burlington Bay her dad does as well so a little bit about Demi before we just like start playing with her is um so basically Demi has a aspiration to become a nurse she actually wants to become um a nurse and we are actually going to be leaving for college um here soon but obviously we do need some more money so she does need to get a job and things like that but I'm gonna have her go ahead and okay she wants to eat peas I mean I feel like I feel like she can eat peas she can eat peas if that's what she wants to do and she actually wants a animal but the thing is the fact that we leave for college unfortunately our dorm room is not going to allow us to like have a um a animal so what we're gonna do is probably end up getting that when we come back home but right now she's just sitting here eating peas and um I guess what she wants to do is probably end up talking to her dad which she wants to get to know her dad which I mean I guess in his adult life so we do have a animal that we used to have like when she was a baby growing up her dad and mom um actually adopted a dog and they named him him Cooper and he's been around for some time and I do believe Cooper will probably end up passing away at some point um but we do need to actually go over to Burlington Bay and see our dad oh my goodness you guys I have asked a lot of people on uh, my Twitter like what's their favorite world and Burlington Bay um actually got a ton of votes so I was like you know what since everyone likes Burlington Bay let me move a sim in Burlington Bay and we play around in that world so with this being a current household we are really truly going to just be growing with Demi um she is just a single sim she doesn't know a lot of people here I do plan on eventually adding in like newer people as I go but I didn't want this to feel like a prep thing so I just like you know I said you know it'll it'll work itself out all right so I'm gonna go ahead and put Demi in her um sleepwear she'll just go ahead and get in her sleepwear and kind of start doing her nighttime routine I'm gonna get her to come up here and brush her teeth and things like that that and just like get ready for tonight I think we do have some actual um, laundry in here so I'm gonna have her go in here and add this to the dryer and also cut on auto lights because Lord knows those bills get crazy those bills get absolutely insane and it's absolutely ridiculous so I'm gonna have Demi go ahead and dry the laundry and get things going I'm gonna have her go ahead and go to sleep I do want to make mention um, this home right here is by Fafala Sims um, you can find her on Tumblr and I will also have her 
her um handle linked down in the description box below it is early in the morning here in tortosa and demi is actually fairly hungry so i'm gonna have her go ahead and wake up and get out of the bed it is early in the morning and we definitely need to go ahead and get things going i'm gonna go ahead and turn off not turn off but turn on all lights and i think what i'm gonna do is also cut the color down so i fix everything i just i hate like having my game seem like it's like turned all the way down it literally drives me crazy because i never hear anything and i was going back and forth um editing videos and i was like oh my god like they can't hear the sound of my game but i'm gonna have demi come in here and get some breakfast she's like a girl let me get my food so what she's gonna probably end up eating is probably some fried bacon and eggs and even though it's not the healthiest demi doesn't care this morning she's just ready to go ahead and like eat and get her day started so we are gonna go and visit our dad i already said that but i'm super excited we're gonna go visit our dad and also our baby cooper because it's been a while since we actually seen cooper Ooh. Um, so like ever since Demi moved over here she is just like you know all by her lonesome she wanted to come here to Tartosa because of the simple fact that she heard that you know Tartosa is just a really quiet place and not a lot of people stay here it's a really really small place like a small area and that is kind of like what she wanted in her life but she also knew she didn't want anything long term because she also knew that she wasn't gonna stay anywhere long so that is kind of like where she, she was like okay this is a cheap house and I got it like like she bought it and it's actually not necessarily cheap but it was what what she could afford at the moment so she is super excited about like just like getting her life started and moving to her dorm and things like that and also when she goes over to visit her dad her dad actually has a gift for her which he is probably going to end up giving her some money for college because she's been telling him like okay dad like I want to go to college and I just don't have the money for it so I think that that is why he was like okay baby girl I want you to come over here I want um, to give you something before you leave and she's like okay I can't wait so I'm gonna have her go ahead and put this up she does not like leaving stuff out and I think what we could do is probably end up adding some things in the house today before we leave I mean with $104 right maybe we'll probably end up doing that after we come home from visiting our dad so I just have her go ahead and go upstairs and just kind of like get her day started she did take a bath last night so that is perfectly fine but I'll get her to come upstairs brush her teeth and we do need to go ahead and I assume we can change our clothes and just get everything ready it is a warm day here in Tartosa I don't know how it's going to be in Burlington Bay every time I've ever went into Burlington Bay you guys it just feels like it's it's been like super I guess like rainy and cold so hopefully we have a warm day in Burlington Bay. but it is cloudy here in Tartosa which is fine where are you going oh she wants to go outside and what oh. view what are you actually uh -huh. viewing um I'm not really sure but I do want you to come inside I don't know what she's viewing but I do want her to come inside and just kind of like um check herself out and she's like okay what am I gonna wear today hmm I don't know what am I gonna wear today uh kind of feels like it's it's warm but it's not too warm I feel like I can probably put on some everyday wear it's just like hmm uh okay well let me let me go ahead and search my closet and see and I think what she's gonna probably end up doing since she is visiting her dad and but she doesn't want to be overbeared I think she'll just go with this cozy like a chilled outfit just like something that she just wants to like and get into and I'm gonna go ahead and have her head over to her dad's house so we are here in Burlington Bay and look who is outside oh already ready Weba. to see us Luna. it is Cooper oh my Weba. goodness I think she's gonna be like hey Cooper oh my goodness how are you he's like hey mama see is she her and Cooper was literally best friends when she was here but ever since she moved she hasn't got a chance Aww. to see Cooper oh my goodness oh, hi and she's like hi baby I miss you so much he's so old she's like do you want to play he's like I don't no, he's like see now so he doesn't understand i don't even know if that's what that means but he's like oh, i guess you don't want to play okay well do you have to use the bathroom maybe we should encourage him to like go to the bathroom or let's ask him to go potty and we do need to go and check on our dad and check and to make sure he is fine this is his house by the way you guys yes we stay in a way smaller house than our dad does but 
we grew up here so it is perfectly fine but cooper is using the bathroom so we're gonna let him have his private moment and come over here and knock on the door to make sure dad is home oh my god cooper <laughs> he's like i'm gonna use the bathroom i'm not even don't even bother me like I, I got this but we're gonna go ahead and knock on the door we definitely want to see our dad and um her mother not being in her life i'm gonna get into that once like she like goes in here and speaks to her dad so this is the house that her uh, parents bought when her and her mom well her and her mom but her mom and dad was married and um she really has to go to the bathroom so i'm gonna have her go ahead and do that go ahead and use the bathroom she's like oh my god i gotta i really do have to use the bathroom she's like dad where are you and i have no idea where he actually is you guys this is a huge house but i see he's over here um playing chess and our dad is very lonely he does not actually want um demi to actually go to school but he knows that it's not for a long time like yes medical field is um a very very like hard job and also it's something that you know he's very nervous about Demi getting in but he also knows that she wants to follow her mom's footsteps and she definitely wants to you know do whatever it is that she has to do but I'm gonna come over here and she's gonna go ahead and greet her dad and I think she's gonna give him a loving hug she's like I bet and she is definitely going upstairs to play what she played with when she was younger girl go downstairs and talk to your dad and she's like I don't know I I, I have no idea no earthly idea where he is and she's just been looking for him the whole time like she came over here he knew she was coming she does have a key to the um residence so it's not it's not Aww. like unheard of that she would oh, Harvey what? so um our dad is literally in front of us so we're not gonna say that he actually called us but it says hey Demi so listen it's a long story but my family is in a bit of a pickle dad we are your family um right now and we need a place to stay for a bit um you have extra place to sleep right and I think what we're gonna do we're actually gonna just go ahead and cancel that because right now we definitely do not want like our dad staying with us because we are gonna be leaving and this big old house I feel like he wants to move in with Demi because of the simple fact that you know she just I feel like you know he feels lonely she's lonely but she's also about to leave and um she is actually rooming with her friend Aria that is going to be over in um I think is I think she's going to Brightchester if I'm not mistaken so I mean I feel like right now she just feels like, okay, dad, I, I just need space. Like she was under her parents for a very long time. Also, they got the supportive dynamic, which is true. He it definitely supports her going to college. And she's like, it's like, so are you ready to go? Like, are you, are you really ready to go? And she's like, yeah, I, I am dad. Like I'm, I'm ready to get out of here. And she's like, okay, well just, and she's like, dad, everything is going to be just fine. Everything's going to be fine. I am rooming with Aria and me and her are best friends. I know you worry about me i know you stress about me dad but everything's gonna be okay okay baby i just i just want to make sure that you are you are into something that you really really love because you going over there and making this big life decision to you know do your do your job and whatnot like i know you want to be a nurse like your mom but everything not everything is easy and i think what she's gonna do is come over here and do a meaningful conversation and i think what she's probably gonna say to him is reflect on her life choices and i think she's just gonna to be like dad you are worrying you are stressed for nothing and she's just like i am I just, I, I really, I, I can't wait to go. I'm excited, actually. I'm nervous, but I'm super excited. He's like, I know, baby girl. I just want you to make the best decisions in your life. Like, I want you to, I want you to make the best decisions, you know, just like do, I want you to do good in life. And, you know, I'll never stop worrying. I'm your, I'm your father. And I think, baby, I think he's going to say, baby girl, I got something for you, actually. Um, I got something for you. I hope you, I hope you like it. And. Well, I, I know I know you want to be an artist at one point, but I got something for you. And he was like, oh, affection. Oh, my God. Y'all are so cute. Okay, I'm going to actually have her give her dad a hug, and he's going to actually give her the gift. Um, I don't necessarily know if I can have him gift her um, if I'm not controlling him. So we will have to control him, but y'all know. I ain't, I'm not even going <laughs> to like try to narrate because i feel like that's just too much but i am gonna narrate best i can um it's not set in stone but i think um i think i'm getting a big promotion oh wow i'm happy for you congratulations and she's like dad oh my god you shouldn't have gave me my gift and he's like yeah baby girl so what he is going to actually give her he is going to give her 
As a child, Harvey and Demi's mom always saved up for her for the day that she actually wanted to go to college. And he actually raised 30K for her. So I think that's what we're going to end up giving her is 30K. And he's like, make sure you make wise, wise decisions. Now, I do have a mod in that we are going to actually be putting a lot of this stuff back once Demi actually goes to college. But we're going to go ahead and add that to our funds. And we're definitely going to say oh my god thank you so much dad and we're definitely going to give him another i guess we can give him a family kiss 30k deserves a family kiss so i'm gonna have her go ahead and kiss her dad and we might really just like relax around here and she says you're so fun to be around i really enjoy spending time with you and i hope you feel that way about me too and he's like of course i do baby girl of course you are you are making me proud each and every day and i don't know why she wants to like clean everything i don't know if that's like a glitch in my game but i think what demi is probably going to end up doing is probably end up taking cooper for a um walk i mean we are here in Burlington bay and i guess i can say that it is a really really cozy world so like I said, I did make a Twitter post and I asked you guys like what's your favorite world in The Sims 4 and ha literally you guys, half of everybody said Burlington Bay and I was like, oh my God, like I've never, you guys know this, I never played in Burlington Bay. Uh, but so pause, I'm gonna pause this video right now and I'm gonna ask you while you are watching this, leave down in the comments below, what is your favorite world? What is your favorite world, your all time favorite world, a world that you cannot live without in the sims 4 i don't know mine i really just i mean i feel like i always start off in san Marshuno or evergreen harbor but i don't know i really don't know like what world i can't live without but i am starting to really really love the feel of tartosa it feels like tartosa is just like really really just like cozy and it's not overscaled, but I feel like with my wedding stories, with like how glitchy my wedding stories is, nobody really plays in Tartosa, but I actually love it. Like I love Tartosa. So yes, I would definitely have to say Tartosa, but we do need to find our dog. Let me just go to our thing. Where are you, hun bun? Oh, he's just outside. Okay. Oh my goodness. Cooper is actually dirty. Okay, Cooper. Well, we're going to come out here and um, um, since we're family and it's really like, I could move dad oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> like he he's not gonna let it go dad I want we if anything I'm not going to take you away from this and I really do feel like he's just like oh my god like I'm pushing it in I'm pushing it in like I want to I want to move in with you and she's like dad I'm leaving for college soon I will let you move into my house and I promise you I will leave my keys to you and you can take care of my key I mean take care of my house while I'm in my dorm but right now dad not right now and I know that he's gonna get that hurt sentiment and i really don't want that because we i mean oh my gosh resident rejection oh my gosh oh no okay i have to get rid of that you guys absolutely not no uh, deeply wounded okay can we please like not do that we do need to get rid of that i hate that like the um feelings that they get because of the simple fact that someone just told them no um but what we're gonna do is we are actually going to probably go ahead and i think she's like hey dad i'm gonna give cooper a bath he's actually dirty and then i'm gonna take him for a walk i feel like we probably should take him for a walk first before we just like uh but you know give him a bath because if he gets a bath come outside and go for a walk he's gonna get dirty again so what we'll do is actually um get cooper and we'll leash him up and then take him for a walk so what we're gonna end up doing when we come back from um you know uni what we're gonna end up doing you guys is i think what she's gonna do is probably end up adopting her a cat yes we're gonna take you for a walk baby boy we're gonna take you for a walk are you ready or are you just barking at us? What's happening? Okay, he's, he was just barking at us. And I mean, that's fine. But okay, come on, Cooper. She's like, okay, dad, I'm going to take him for a walk because he seems like he's a little bit bored. Okay, hun, go ahead and go for a walk. Okay, we'll go for a short walk around Burlington Bay. Hopefully she can because I do feel like, um, I feel like, okay, there we go. I was about to say, I feel like we never get a chance to actually go walking. So I love this for her and Cooper. Like he is just such a cute dog and I don't even know what kind of dog he is but I would love one of these in real life <laughs> but um so 
she is gonna be taking um cooper for a walk and she's really just like thinking you know even on her walk she's like contemplating she's like come on coops uh but she is thinking she's like oh my god my dad really wants to move in with me like i can't believe that like that's insane let me lock the camera on her i feel like that would actually work a little bit better or i'll just lock it on um cooper that way we can walk with them okay so she is just like she yeah, she's thinking like i mean this is gonna be insane like leaving for college she has her best friend over there you guys she's super excited and really her main thing was the fact that she always just wanted you know her friend someone familiar at college and i'm not even gonna prep that like oh my goodness what's the matter Oh no, from being near outgoing Sam. Who is outgoing? Cooper? <laughs> Girl, get rid of that. Who is outgoing? Is it Cooper? Oh my God, Coops, you've made your mom mad. <laughs> he's like, oh, uh, he's just barking, barking, barking. Maybe it's our dad. I don't really think she would get a annoyed buff from her dad, but I mean, it's okay. And I was hoping that, you know, we could, I don't know. I was hoping to move somewhere close to a, um, like a beach setting. And I feel like I wanted to move to Burlington Bay, but you guys, like the house that is close by the beach is just like six. 64 by 64 and I was like some story that's gonna be if we don't even have money right so I was just like I'm not doing that I'm just gonna have her move in Tartosa because there's a lot of places in Tartosa I wish I could get rid of that let me see if I can like cheat her mood so I just cheated her mood and I don't I was about to say I don't know what is why she's just standing here but I just cheated her mood and oh my goodness look at her in coop they are so adorable but she's just like walking and to be honest I did fix it you guys but it's still there but i feel like it's gonna be okay also i'm pretty sure you guys already like noticed this but i am going into a whole like little alpha little thing but i'm not doing too much with the alpha you guys because of the simple fact that you know i'm not a whole alpha girl and i will probably be switching a demi um between like maxes and alpha really it doesn't really matter to me but oh my goodness look at cooper he's so adorable like I cannot believe how adorable he is but she's like come on coops let's get you back home i know you're tired he is an older dog so it does make sense that he would be tired so i am back i actually have to go take a break and it seems like <laughs> it seems like she actually changed her clothes which i mean i'm not mad at her but we are still on the walk with cooper and we are going to go ahead and take a cooper home you guys i am so sorry like she changed her old outfit when they started back walking and i Aww. thought it was really really cute and i didn't want to change it back but Demi is just like okay Coops do you need to use the bathroom he actually probably needs like a little bit of a rest I do believe he's getting a little bit tired she's like hey Coops go ahead and use the bathroom while we wait oh my god where are you gonna just like pull him like look she pulled him are you just are you not gonna wait till he go okay let's go ahead and just like take him home because he is like I said he's getting really really tired and I don't want him to be tired because I do know that you know he's an older dog so we definitely completely understand um that he's tired um are you gonna use the bathroom did you not need to okay well I guess what we could do is I wish is there a way that I could click on her and um end our walk i don't think that we can end our walk but i guess okay well i think it did end so let's go ahead and just unleash cooper and i'm pretty sure he'll just go ahead and go home and i think we're gonna come in here it is 3 25 and we actually wanted to go out and get some coffee so i'm gonna have her um come in here and probably um tell her dad wherever he is this is a huge house i truly could not deal you guys because i will literally always be looking for my sims always <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is make things easier for myself and um not open panel I think dad left actually um, because it's not letting me focus on him so I think dad actually left which I mean I guess that is okay I guess he was just like you know he has to run which is fine he is a um he is a policeman so he is a detective or whatever the case is so i definitely understand but while we are here because we don't own one ourselves, i think before we go out to get coffee i think what i'm gonna have demi do is um let me find the 
<laughs> give you a moment oh my gosh this house is humongous but i think what i'm gonna have demi do is come over here and sit down because we don't have a laptop at home um and we need to go ahead and put in a application for um i guess the um university application so i think that's what we're gonna go ahead and do we're gonna go ahead oh my god and apply for university we definitely will have to um wait on our application um acceptance letter or whatever the case is so that is perfectly fine but i'm pretty sure where is my puppy is he okay are you okay okay you finally used the bathroom okay you're good so what we're going to do is go ahead and put our application in to uni and then we are going to go ahead and probably end up heading home we do have enough money now so we can just go ahead and go to university i do want to um so here's what we're going to be doing so since this is a current household i am probably going to have demi instead of going home i'm going to have her go ahead and um go to the coffee shop and then we'll just go by ourselves so what we're gonna end up doing is, this is how I plan on completely doing this. So since this is, like I said, a current household, what I'm gonna actually end up doing is I'm going to play university on and off camera. So you guys won't be with me every single time I play with um, university, like every time I play her in university. And that is because I do have her for my personal gameplay and I probably will be posting her probably like once a month with, I'm pretty sure if you guys like her, her, probably more than that just depends on like what I feel but I hope you got girl can you let she's like I am going to order some food I don't really want you to order food but we did come here to order some coffee so we're gonna order a drink and it's gonna be for here and <clears throat> I guess what we can do is we could just get a mocha. How about we get a mocha? Let's go ahead and get a mocha. And I'm going to have her go ahead and do that. But yeah, so basically what we're going to do is it's going to be like on and off camera gameplay. I do play a lot with her in my spare time and I absolutely love it. And that is why I dedicated a whole preset, <laughs> a whole preset to her because I feel like, you know, I just needed something new. And I do know we are in this minimalist era, but I feel like with her, her coastal vibes I didn't feel like my preset because the other preset that I actually have is more so like real life it's like realistic if that makes sense and I wanted her to have something that kind of like fit her and her only so yes I went and I went all out and I made a um preset I do need to get the mod where it says like no random like stretching because that is about to I wish you would <gasps> oh no ma'am oh absolutely not oh no ma'am she's like annoyed and i think we'll probably we're not gonna get violent we're not gonna get violent but we are gonna say like hey ma'am um the drink that you just picked up was mine you didn't even come your butt up here you didn't well you didn't come up here and grab anything you know you're wrong for that and she's like i don't even understand why you even came over here i'm gonna get it to go because she just came over here and took our stuff like no ma'am absolutely not you, girl boss. don't look like that she's like uh it's okay i'm sorry i'm so sorry i thought this was mine you knew it wasn't yours i thought this was mine that's all you want to say but you knew it was not yours thank you can we please get our please move oh i thought she was coming over here to grab our stuff y'all i do not like when sims just like get our stuff and you didn't even put it in a to-go cup hello nope she is not getting an espresso not today not today go ahead and get it go ahead and get it Jimmy. get this espresso that's what you get you shouldn't have never gave our um you should have never gave ours away um dad my neighbor swears the food at the humor hijinks festival is to die for you want to come and see actually dad we are getting pretty tired and we're kind of just like ready to um go home and oh my goodness she's really annoyed you guys she's like i cannot believe that woman just like took my drink like hello so demi has just finished her mocha and to be completely honest she is super annoyed and ready to go home so what i'm gonna have her do is we're not ordering any else because apparently this person cannot like do right so we're probably gonna end up going home and just like a cooking or something or probably ordering some takeout or whatever the case is but I do believe Demi prefers to just cook herself something so that's what we're probably gonna
gonna end up going home to do but she is just like really enjoying um the view in tortosa i won't say right now because she is fairly angry like that woman pissed her off you guys by taking her express well not even espresso but mocha and she's just like you know i can't believe that rude people like still exist yes demi unfortunately my love they still exist so we are back home and demi is actually hungry so what i'm gonna do is have her come in here and cook herself some dinner and i do believe she is just gonna stick with it i don't think that we have a lot of healthy like options so what she'll do is just cook this and it says it is lactose free um it's grated potatoes mixed with seasoning and shallow fried on a pan and i think she will actually want that she was gonna go ahead and just pick up some breakfast but i do believe that she just wants to go ahead and like cook something new like i mean i'm pretty sure the breakfast is just gonna be able to be like warmed up and be fine but she wants something new oh my god girl did you just disappear on me okay let's not do that <laughs> but no she is ready to just like you know get herself together and she's very annoyed from that person at the cafe just like a take like who takes other people's orders she's just like oh my god i can't freaking believe that but i definitely understand why demi is a little bit annoyed because i would have been annoyed too i would have grabbed my food back you guys like or my drink or whatever it is that she decided to take i would have grabbed it back like absolutely not you cannot take my food or my drinks like hello <laughs> but demi is home and she 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 knows that you know i mean maybe maybe that woman couldn't pay for it like her her espresso mocha thing was already paid for it and she's just like maybe she likes to look at the brighter side <laughs> she is eating good and she's just like oh my god like that was it's been a crazy day but thankfully i got something done i put my application into uni and i can't wait to hear back and i think she is like she does have a good amount of money but i still believe that we may have to um go over to our dad's house i mean there is some things that we could do like she does want to end up like doing yoga like it's not something that she wants to um you know do on on a consistent base but she does like healthy things and she does like yoga and stuff like that so I think what we can do is probably uh, come over here and get rid of this dad wants to literally come here and stay and I don't even know why but maybe uh, you know he's not with our mom anymore so it could just be like really really rough on him the fact that he is staying over there by himself and um we could have Cooper but he had asked multiple times like I want to come stay with you can I come stay with you and she's just like your dad i'm leaving like you're gonna be lonely either way it goes because i'm leaving soon like i plan on actually leaving as soon as I, she gets her acceptance letter which we are going to probably end up well i'm going to plan out some things and i mean we do have a new night in night in the town uh night on the town coming up soon and we might end up like doing that with a friend before we leave but i don't know it depends because once demi gets in college she is very um academic and once she gets in college she is not going to want to like focus on like friends and things like i mean yes of course we're gonna go to parties and things like that but i really think that she's going to be laser focused on um other things did our lights get cut off or is that just okay i think that is the uh lighting outside so once it get dark you know it gets dark in here because this is about a lot of lighting but she does want to call her dad and chat with him because we didn't get to tell him goodbye he actually left and i do believe he probably end up like went to went to work or something um or is he over here oh he is over here dad hi she's like dad what are you doing here she's staying in the fence and he's like on the outside Hello, she's like what Sophie. are you doing here you came all the way over me. here yes i didn't get to tell you goodbye i just i you know i just i i, I want to come over here and tell you goodbye the proper goodbye she's like oh my gosh well you came all the way over here at literally 10 oh my god over the fence hook she's like dad well it is getting late and i am going to probably end up uh going to sleep okay well i just i want to come over here and make sure you got home safe thank you dad <laughs> thank you for checking on me and making sure i got home safely he's like okay she's like all right bye bye sweetie see you tomorrow okay dad geez oh my gosh thank you for coming over here checking on me demi's like uh i'm gonna miss that even though she is just kind of like you know her dad came over here at a random time like literally random you guys she just like she loves the fact that he loves to check on her like demi is his baby so a little bit i do want to get into a little bit of a backstory about demi i actually just came up with it while we were literally playing together demi 
Hello, is she supposed to get in here with? Okay, girl, I thought I thought not. <laughs> I was about to say I thought I thought you wasn't supposed to be in there with that, but. Anyway, let me get into a little bit of a backstory about her. I just literally came up with it while we we're filming. And this is why I love like filming a current household because it's not something that you have to forcefully like write a story for. But I feel like this story fits perfectly. And that is this story that, you know, Demi and her mother, well, first of all, she was never really close with her mom. Um, her mom really kind of like, I mean, in a sense, she, okay, so backstory about Demi. In high school, Demi had this boyfriend and this boyfriend kind of was, I mean, I guess you could say he was good for her, but to her mom, no one is good enough for Demi, right? Like no one is good enough for her. And she is, you know, she's, she just like want her to live a certain kind of way. And for a while, Demi really resented her mom as a child because anything that she actually wanted to do, her mother didn't allow her to do. She was like, no, you need to do this you need to do that you need to make sure you you know she was just overbearing and she was really really just like you know overbearing and it got really really tiresome and toxic for Demi and she really was just like I I can't live my life like this and once she became a teenager she met this boy named Makoa and she fell in love with him of course when you're young you're a teenager your parents know that you don't know what you're what you're talking about right like love is just like puppy love it's nothing serious and she really liked him and one day he came over to their house and you know they have this big old mansion he was like oh my god this is so this is so nice and her mom came in there and she was like oh well are you broke you don't have enough money you can't date my daughter whatever the case is and he went home and told his parents how ugly her mother was being to him and literally ruined the entire thing and literally his mother said you cannot go back over there you can't date her you can't see her like it was forbidden for them to date each other so Demi actually got got her phone took because she was caught messaging him and she got her phone took when she was a teenager and from that day forward her and her mother never truly seen eye to eye again like never again and in her adulthood, her mother was kind of the same way, but until Demi actually walked into the room and found her mother on the phone, and she was literally saying like, oh baby, blah, blah, blah. She's like, oh, is that dad? And so she brought it up to her dad, and he was like, no, that wasn't me on the phone. I've been working all day. I don't have time to go to my phone. And she realized her mom has been talking to her dad, uh, quote, dad, uh, for a very, very long time. And Demi actually went to a party a high school party um when she was in high school and she realized like this has been going on since I've been in high school all the way up into my adult life so before she actually moves here to Tartosa <clears throat> Before she moved here to Tartosa, uh, it was one last straw her and her mom had, right? So basically, pretty much, her mom was actually, you know, talking on the phone like, hey, we're going to have a date. And she kind of like told Demi like, okay, I need you to go somewhere or whatever the case is. Me and your dad is going to have a date night. And so this was when she was like 22. So right now she's 24. But this is when she was 22. So Demi was like, okay, I'll go. I'll go get my nails done, my hair done, my feet done, and I'll go over over um, Araya's house, which is her best friend. And she was like, okay, cool. So Demi actually left and she had to come back. She forgot her, I'll say she forgot her wallet. So when she left and she realized, oh dang it, I forgot my wallet. And it was literally an hour after she like went there and she was uh, getting her nails done and her feet done. And she realized like, oh, I don't have the money to pay these people because my wallet is at home. So she drove 20 minutes back home, you guys. And the door was open so she went in there and she heard like activities going on she heard her mom you know moaning whatever the case is and she was like oh my god okay dad and mom are getting it in well let me tell you when she walked in there to get her wallet the door was cracked open but she didn't look because obviously her parents were engaging in activities okay her parents were engaging engaging in activities and she was like okay I'm just gonna run and get my wallet I'm gonna leave because apparently they're having a great date night so when she walked out she had her wallet in her hand her keys in her hand and whatever and when she walked out you guys her dad was literally at the door and she was like, oh, 
dad what oh my god dad do not go in the house and he was like why i'm not gonna go in the house and he's just like dad no 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 don't don't go in the house like don't go you cannot go in the house and he was like a demi please get out of the way like get out of the way and when he went in the house obviously he realized my wife is in there moaning and i'm not in there like what the hell is going on so he busted in the door and everything went on long story short they got a divorce and Demi wrote her out of her entire life and that is why she's not here I literally just made that story up as I went <laughs> don't judge but seriously okay that is her backstory you guys we're sticking with it so I pretty much just came up with that right off the top of my head I didn't write that down um literally just came that came up with that so i hope y'all like that backstory <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna play off of that as we go and pretty much what is gonna be happening is that is why it's going to kind of be hard for demi to find love after what her mother did to her and she sabotaged her like little puppy love relationship and even though we know it's probably puppy love she sabotaged her relationship regardless and it, she was old enough to remember that she was like 17 so I mean, I get it. So Demi does not like her mom and she she never will. And especially not liking her mom after he hurt her. But I'm going to go ahead and let Demi sleep and I'll talk to you guys in the morning. So it is early in the morning. Of course, Demi is still asleep. She is a late sleeper. She always sleeps in. Um, but what I do believe I want her to do is I know she's probably like allergic to jobs, but she has really been thinking about like doing um, a little bit of something like she doesn't really know yet but I do want her to go ahead and just like get herself together this morning we need to come in here brush her teeth come over here and take a bath and she really just wants to like get her house together and today I think what we're gonna do is probably sit here and relax I do want her to actually get this room together and we're gonna kind of like turn this room into our office we do need to make sure we have enough money to pay for um university and things like that which I don't think uni is going to cost um, 29,000, but we do need money to go over there and make sure we, um, do our dorm room and what I will do at the end of today's video um is I probably will I don't know maybe I'll do like a speed build not build but speed furnish of Demi's um uni apartment because we're actually we're actually going to university I cannot believe that because it's been a while since I've ever played I think the only active like schooling thing I've ever done was high school years and that was with Jody and I don't think I've done anything like that since so this is going to be super fun I do want to add in um some more sims which I am gonna probably end up doing that and also adding Zimmy's um roommate in and I cannot wait you guys I'm super excited but I'm gonna have her go ahead and take a bath and I do believe um this video is going to be wrapped up here soon because we do need to make sure like I want to make sure I can do everything <laughs> even off camera because I do want her to um get her acceptance letter before I film next so let's go ahead and get her to wash that we also need to change our bed sheets um we need to make sure we change those to make sure everything is good and y'all see the outfit she chose to wear today i think it's so cute she's just like chilled vibe but still you know cute um let's go ahead and put this oh, take so. this to the hamper and i'm gonna have her probably come downstairs and grab herself some breakfast maybe we do just like some pancakes and toast okay well we apparently um demi is not skilled enough so we do need to get our cooking skill up so we can start eating stuff but i don't think we're gonna be able to do that in university considering that um university is pretty much just like uh <laughs> crazy food i don't know how she's gonna eat healthy over there at uni but i guess it's just all depends on like you know what she does and i am gonna give her a uni makeover i know all of our clothes are pretty much okay but whatever clothes i feel like she would love to oh my god she scared me but the clothes that i feel like she wants to change out for university because i mean girls are gonna be over there they're gonna be dressed correctly you know frat boys are gonna be over there like she wants to look great and I mean she looks great now but I do believe she's gonna kind of like a go through oh my god did I not turn off window peeping okay let me turn that off but 
she does want to look the part okay she definitely wants to look the part because who knows she might meet somebody over there tom i just told you no more Wendell pp tom apparently y'all did not want to listen to the rules like he didn't want to listen to the rules at all oh my goodness are you done already you are actually okay dad what do you want today hey demi i feel like i'm trying something new and exciting something oh dad yes did we encourage you to have like a life change or whatever the case is and demi is always cleaning i cannot wait till she move into like the thing with her roommate so a little bit about her roommate before we even continue to talk about it her roommate basically is someone that we actually are going to be controlling we're going to control two people and our main focus is just going to be Demi but I do want to actually control I guess we can control people because I want her to act a certain way like I want her to actually be in our group and we do things together and maybe plan things together or whatever the case is but i hope everything works out <laughs> demi is so cute you guys i love her so much but she is definitely a little bit nervous about like you know going to university her dad is nervous as well as you guys can probably already tell he's probably texting her like hey baby girl it is early in the morning i haven't heard from you but good morning i hope you have a good day and she's like oh my god i love you too dad and i hope you have a good day as well and she's just like thinking like i cannot wait like i'm so ready to go but i'm a little bit nervous and I love her so much you guys I love her so much but I am going to go ahead and probably end up wrapping up this random current household episode um it's not even an episode but I just I guess I will just call it a video <laughs> but um uh, this is going to be our current household and I am thinking about posting this probably um maybe twice or three times a month I'm not really sure but it just depends on how much progress I make by playing by myself and I'm gonna play by myself and I'm also gonna play with you guys and I just I feel like I want Demi on the channel I love her so much you guys like her vibe is coastal as you guys cannot tell like the blues and that's why I feel like my other preset just did not fit her she needed a coastal preset so I did create just a preset for her and her um, series that will be on the channel which is not really a series but it's a current household and I cannot wait hopefully the next episode I'm hoping I can play up to the the point where we are actually going to college and we are actually there I am going to probably go ahead and um wrap up today's video here and uh -huh. i'm probably going to oh. end up um doing a dorm oh. speed like build or whatever not even a speed build but a speed furnish or uh -huh. i could do a slow furnish i'm not really sure i think i'm probably going to end up doing a speed furnish that way i can oh. go ahead and get it done in my spare time and then i will just uh, put it up for you guys so you guys can see how her coastal themed dorm room i do need some inspiration but i think it's going to be coastal themed for sure but i'm going to go ahead and wrap of today's video here i hope you guys enjoyed it of course if you did make sure you give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in the next one <laughs> bye guys demi clearly says bye <laughs> bye guys